Good day, human audio slates. This is Latios Azura, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Bolt White Extreme Lock. Here we are in Novema Town. Or, Novema Town. I don't know what I'm saying. Last time we got our starter and caught our first Pokemon. This time, we're heading back to Route 1. We're just gonna cut through here. Hopefully we don't get in too many battles, because we already have our encounter. Now, soon we're gonna have to start grinding. I'm probably gonna start grinding next time, because it's gonna escalate quickly, I'm pretty sure. That's if it doesn't escalate today. Oh, we could've had a Sentret. Instead, we got a Pat Rat. Alright, you know what? Let's tail whip this thing. Oh my goodness, critical hit, that is not good. Good thing is, once we get access to Ember, we will be able to you take advantage of Sheer Force. But that isn't until we get Ember. Which... Well, it should be sometime. Oh, we learned Ember. Okay, that's good. But now I don't want to go back this way because I'm afraid we're going to have to battle N. Because I'm pretty sure there's a battle against N sometime in Accumulatown. And since we can't heal at the Pokemon Center, the only way we're going to easily get there is through here. Oh my goodness. Another encounter. Pat Rat. Level 5. That's not good. Alright. No, let's actually go for an Ember, because why not? Thing is, when using Ember, we can't take advantage of Tail Whip. Well, I guess we can, but it won't make any sense because Ember's a special move. So we'll go for that Ember. Oof. Angel, you can do this. Because we don't have any items yet. Now, as far as the Pokemon Center rule goes with the Extreme Lock, because the Pokemarts are inside the Pokemon Centers in 5th Gen, it will count as a Pokemon. That'll count as a Pokemart. It will be considered independent of the Pokemon Center itself. I'm just not allowed to heal at the Pokemon Center. I'm allowed to like, buy, buy items there. So. Let's just heal up here. Because I don't really want our Pokemon to die. This is only part two. And we're gonna need a team in order to take on the first gym. Alright. Back at Route 1. The encounter ratio in, in Unova is pretty bad. So I'm just trying to be careful. I mean, we don't have running shoes yet, so... It's not like we're going to have to make too big a difference with not running. Are you kidding me? First step! As much as I want to battle this thing and get more experience. So I'm gonna be training, I might as well do it off screen. Oh, whatever. Level 3, I'll go for Amber. Should be a 2 hit. Not even a 2 hit KO. Wow. Okay. Even with sheer force, we're not we're just not making things happen. Okay, max damage, okay. That that makes it makes a little more sense. But the the experience scale, though, in black and white is going to screw us over, I'm pretty sure. How about it, Latizul? Do you, do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Sure, we're probably going to lose because we only can catch one, but... It seems the number of Pokemon Azul has is two. We all have the same number, then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to accumulate town. The professor is waiting. Oh, the cross transceiver's ringing. Okay. Hello, how is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? But, Professor, 
Right now, I'm in front of the Accumula Towns Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, see you. Alright, so let's go. Well, I'm going on ahead. Alright. So here we are in Accumula Town. You might have to buy some items. But, hmm, so far, Angel's health is okay. Ah, Lattice, well, there you are. Traveling with your Pokémon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. i like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. Okay. I'm just really nervous, though, because I know that that battle against N is coming up. This is the Pokémon Center. Don't feel... Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start your tour. Wait for me! A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed! And what's more, it's absolutely free! A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, I'll just give it a try. Um, I'm not allowed to. Hey, Lattisol, where are you off to? Humor me and talk to the lady at the counter. Let her take your Pokemon. Okay. Because this is technically tutorial based, and I don't have a choice, this is the one time during the extreme lock that you are allowed to heal. Because you don't really have a choice in the matter. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Okay. So we are going to get that free heal right there, which is kind of inconsequential. Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at a Pokemon Center. This is the PC, it's free to use the trainer. You can store a Pokemon in the PC box, select Pokemon stored in your PC box, you can along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while well, you have six Pokemon traveling with you, the Pokemon is just caught and is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even. Here's something else that's cool. If you selected my PC, I'll evaluate the, pro um, the progress you made in your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question. I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead using the PC. Someone is the person who made the storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. So let's move on. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back into Vayma Town. One final thing. When you get to Stride in the city, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Okay, thank you, Professor. I feel like Bianca's gonna say something. Yep. Ooh! Ooh! What should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important! Uh, I'm thinking! Okay. You go think about that. I'm gonna buy 10 Pokeballs. I'll get a free Premier Ball, not that it makes too big a difference. Buy 5 potions and hold on to 500 bucks in case I need it in the future. And what do they sell here? Is it just mail or do they have something useful? Just mail. Okay, now this is what worries me, because I know we're gonna have the battle against N. The question is, is it right away or do we. Yep, it's right away. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look, a little look see. Now, is there a way to get back to Route... Well, back to Route 1 before seeing Team Plasma in action? I, you see, I don't want to see Team Plasma in action right now. Because I think I want to do grinding beforehand. You guys have anything useful for me? Um. Okay, you're not giving me Pokeballs. You envy me? Trust me, you you don't want to be me right now. I I'm going on a journey with Pokemon that might die.
Please, people, I want free stuff. Oh my goodness. Do you have something free for me? I don't really care about your married life, no offense. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to get free stuff here because I, I kind of need it. <laughs> But you know what? I might just do some training. You know what? Before battling N, I want to do some training. I mean, I guess I could do the grinding off screen, but. Hmm. For now, I'm just going to do some training before we take on. Uh, well, 15 plasma, um, thing. Oh, it's a Zigzagoon, okay. Level 7! Oh my god, alright. Let's go for an Ember, see how much we can do. It's not a Bibberl yet, so... You're gonna lower my attack, but that's fine. Ember is special, so... I am not too worried. It's not a Bibberl yet, so it doesn't have the secondary, um, water typing to resist the fire. Now, we can't get a burn hacks because of sheer force. Though Ember should be doing more damage. It just isn't doing more damage because I'm pretty sure... It might be Angel just having a better physical attack than, no, um, than special attack. I don't know for sure. Either way, we're gonna have to heal up, probably. Because this is... This is getting kinda close. But Angel is going to level 8. I mean, I'm pretty sure Gwen's going to have to do some training too, though. Because I, I don't want casualties. Food food. Uh... Okay. Question is... If this thing has hypnosis, I have to get out. Yeah, I gotta get out of this battle. Okay, if it lands a Hypnosis, we run. Since we do we do not have the fighting typing yet, we should be okay just in case it chooses to go for some kind of flying move, which I don't think it will. So far, it has Hypnosis, Tackle, and Foresight. Foresight isn't really going to do anything to us right now because we're not a ghost. An Angel grew to level 9 a little better. We learned Odor Sleuth, which we, I don't think we have any need for, all things considered. But ultimately, if we're having trouble taking down wild Pokemon, I don't know if I want to take on N yet. I mean, it's not that I don't want to check out what Team Plasma is up to right now. It, it sounds very interesting. And something to do with Pokemon Liberation, I think I heard. But... Wait a second? I'm just nervous. Because I, I know things are going to get really difficult. It's really going to escalate quickly. Level 9 and 3, respectively. That's... That, that's kind of dangerous, I think. Especially knowing that Team Plasma is right around the corner. Hmm. I mean, grinding is going to be a lot easier once we get to find Audino. But for now, it's just going to be about... Training in this. It's a center at level four. The thing is, the stronger we get, the less experience we get from each thing. Okay, you're gonna go for a defense curl. That's gonna mean absolutely nothing to us. 
I want Angel at least level 10 or 11 before we even consider taking on N. Because I don't remember what level he's at, but... I'm fairly certain it would behoove us to be prepared. So I'm aware that's going to make this episode accomplish very little, but... This is an extreme lock. I, I don't want to leave anything to chance. Because we're one critical hit from losing everything. Right this second, something happens to Angel. We lose the extreme lock. Because I don't think Gwen's going to be able to take on wild Pokémon. But I don't want to actually start training Gwen until I can get a clean until I can get a safe switch to Angel and against wild Pokemon. So that wouldn't happen until Angel's at a higher level. Then eventually Gwen might be strong enough to be able to take on wild Pokemon herself. Okay, so what is this? After this I think we'll heal unless it's something really, really weak. Level 3 centric, that shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Go for an Ember. I'm gonna go for Foresight. I don't think he had the Foresight to predict that wasn't necessary. So yeah, this is this is pretty much the kind of thing I do when I'm grinding. And if you think this is boring, then that's why usually I do it off screen. <laughs> because this is not the most fun part of the game at all. Level 6, that, that can get a little bit dicey. I mean, Sheer Force, I, I think, can help us, but at the same time, it might not. <laughs> because that chance of the burn hacks is so important. Huh. We're still in the green zone, so I think we might be able to take down the centret. It should be... No, that's pushing it. I mean, it's going for a defense curl, so... That, that's only going to raise its defense, which it doesn't really matter to us. So, but... Critical hit, centered down. Nice job, Angel. And Angel grew to level 10. Huh. The only other problem is, before we take on N, I do want Gwen to be able to do some stuff. So we haven't accomplished that much today, but ultimately, I just get really nervous with that battle coming up. I mean... So far, I haven't lost a Nuzlocke, or even an Extreme Lock. And I don't want it to start this time, even though it is in fact a... This is a ROM hack, so... I feel a little bit le less bad if it happens. Only because of that, but still. I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to sound like childish when I say that, but legitimately I don't want to lose. So... I will be doing grinding. I will be doing what I can to win. Really, even Ornberry. That probably would have been a two-hit KO, but instead it's going to end up being three hits because of that Ornberry. Though a crit probably would have killed. Or what probably would have just been an Oko. Whatever. Battle one more thing, one more wild Pokemon, then I'll heal up. Then we'll head to Accumula Town, I think. Hit up. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. 
I, I think we, we pretty much got this thing with the pit off. I, I think that Angel's probably at this point able to take on the wild Pokemon. Then I can start training up Gwen. On the other hand, this episode is getting longer. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we should do that next time. I'm really sorry for not doing very much today. I, I really am. But I just... I just am trying to just be careful. I don't want to... I don't want to lose. So... Hmm. So, you know, let's get back to Accumulatown. And then we'll see what happens. I mean, unless Angel can take on N by himself. But ultimately, I don't think we have enough time today to be able to train up Gwen and then battle N. Level 7 pit of. Huh. Tempting, but... We're a few steps from Town. let's just get there healed up. Okay. Oops. Might as well come here a sec. I guess we don't have a choice. Uh, my bad. I guess we are gonna battle in today. Alright. My name is Getsus. I am rep here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that that is the truth? Pokemon are subjects to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is truth in what I'm saying? Yikes. No way, I, I, I don't. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right. We must liberate Poke the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Okay, there they go. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Your, your Pokemon, just now, it was saying... Slow down. You talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Charon, and this is Lagazul. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering, are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Lotazul, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. So here we go against N. 
and has three Pokemon. And I'm nervous. Level oh, level six. Okay, that's okay for now, I guess. I just we'll see. Let's go for an Ember. Okay. Gonna lower our attack, but that's okay because we're we're going for the sheer force Ember. Because Ember technically doesn't do as much as Tackle, although actually it does because of Stab and Sheer Force. Ralts. Okay, we'll stay in. Okay. We can just keep going for Embers, I guess. Confusion. Okay, you better not get the Confuse Hacks. Alright. I don't know why I was thinking Ends team was going to be really, really high level. Uh, I guess it's because of the Dryano hack. I just got nervous. Poliwag? Are you kidding me? Alright, I need to do a quick calculation here. Ember does 40, so... 40 plus the same type of attack bonus, which would add 50%, plus Sheer Force, which adds, I forgot what percentage. So that would be B60, but then... Sheer Force, I think, does it add 50% or 30% or 20% or something like that? So I'm going to assume for sake of argument, it's less. That's a B70, then divided by 2 would be B35, versus Tackle, which would be base 50, but we are at one growl. Now, I think we can survive... We can survive one bubble. So... Where we are. Now, I could go for a Tail Whip, but it's kind of dangerous, because then that would be... But if we can get a critical hit... That would be nice. The thing is, I'm just afraid because of the because of that growl, tackle's gonna do less. So I'm gonna go for the ember, even though it's not very effective. And of course, gonna go for a water sport. So now we're gonna even do less damage. All right, we should have gone for tackle because we can't even get a burn hacks now. Does water sport increase the power of bubble, or is it just weak and on fire? I'm gonna go for a tail up here. Just because. I'm gonna go for the tail. That's a crit. Okay, so if that's if that's a crit, then we should be okay. Because if a critical hit does that little, even on a super effective move, then we should be fine. But that polyblog is still faster than us. Okay, good. Tackle, polywag's down. Alright, we beat Ang. I didn't expect to hear Pokemon say such things. Alright, nice job, Angel. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Huh. Strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. In the battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Today, Striden City, tomorrow the world. If you say so. Alright. Let's head home, I guess. Or we have you know what I could use a potion. I'll use a potion instead of going home. Because I can't use Pokemon Centers. So, yeah. Now, I, I think I might do a little more training with uh, Angel and particularly Gwen before we head over to the next town. So, yeah. That would probably be the best thing to do. So at least we accomplished something today. <laughs> I just I'm just taking my time because I don't want to lose the extreme hawk. 
So yeah. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and next time we'll continue as we go through the Unova region in Let's Play Pokemon Volt White Extreme Lock. Goodbye.